bones, them bones, them skeleton. Dry bones, let's shake them skeleton bones. The toe bones connected to the. Hello again, young bibliophiles. Miss Stacy here. We're going to do another edition of Story Time. I'm going to read a book today called Heroes Wear Masks. It's about uh, Elmo wearing his mask, so I put mine on. But we're going to take it off so you can understand me better. Okay, this one is Heroes Wear Mask Elmo's Adventure. Super Adventure. And this is by Lillian Jane. So, here we go. Today, Elmo is going to school. Elmo is super excited and super nervous. To feel better, he puts his hands on his belly, then he takes a slow, deep breath in through his nose and lets it out through his mouth. He goes, <sighs> it helps him relax. Elmo feels better now. Time to get ready for school. First, Elmo washes his hands. Mommy says hand washing is super important. Wash your hands to the ABC song. Elmo wets his hands and uses the soap to make lots of bubble. He scrubs for 20 seconds, then rinses and dries his hands, and he says, scrub a duck stuff. Elmo eats a healthy breakfast. He wants to have lots of super strength to learn and play. Elmo's mommy tells him what to expect in school today. First, you have your temperature taken. And you'll need to wear your mask, keep a safe distance from your friends, and give them big waves but no hugs. Okay, Elmo? Yes, Mommy, and Elmo remembers he shouldn't touch his nose, eyes, or mouth after he washes his hands. Uh-oh, Elmo still feels nervous about going to school. It's been a while since he has seen his friends. Elmo takes another belly breath to help himself feel better. Slowly in through the nose and out through Elmo's mouth. Elmo and Mommy pack Elmo's backpack with everything he needs. He's got a thermos and some crayons and a picture of his mommy, and there's mommy handing him a mask. Elmo has a face mask to wear at school, and whenever he leaves home, Mommy says that wearing a mask is important because it help, helps keep everyone healthy. Elmo wants to be super ready for school. Mommy says that a mask should be clean and cover both your nose and mask. Let's try on the mask, Elmo says. And there he is with his mask on. Elmo doesn't wear his mask when he does schoolwork at home, though. Mommy says Elmo only has to wear it when he goes out. Mommy says even Super Grover wears one because he, heroes wear masks to keep others safe. All of Elmo's friends will be wearing masks at school, too. Elmo wears a mask just like this. He wants to be a hero, too. What does your mask look like? There's Elmo and there's his mommy. So has got little hearts on it. It's time to leave and walk to the bus, but Elmo's getting nervous again. He knows just what to do. Elmo puts his hands on his belly, takes a slow, deep breath in through his nose, and lets it out slowly out of his mouth. Now he's ready to go. Elmo asks Mommy where his friends are. Mommy says Elmo fr Elmo's friends will get to school differently. Some ride the bus, some walk, and some go in cars. Remember, you can give Mommy a hug and a kiss, but you have to wave to your friends. Elmo practices his best way for Mommy as he says goodbye. Bye, Mommy. There he is on the bus. Elmo's nervous about leaving home, but also excited to go to school. There we go. When the bus arrives at school, Elmo and his friends line up at a safe distance from each other. See, there they are, lots of room. Elmo remembers what his Mommy told him and gives his friends big waves. Elmo's excited to be with his friends. Even if they have to sit far apart, school is going to be so much fun. Elmo has a very busy and very fun day at school. He's drawing a picture, having his lunch. Elmo knows to wash hands before he, when he gets back inside. After school, Mommy meets Elmo at the bus stop. She says, let's go home and wash our hands and you can tell me everything. Elmo had so much fun at school today. That was a good story, wasn't it? All about wearing your mask and washing your hands and being safe. It's not that hard to do. Now we have a Halloween story. I like this one. It's Black the Cat. What was that? And this is by Rob Scotton. Here we go. Look at that. They're out trick-or-treating. The tricking and treating was almost done. Splat and Spike only had the old house to visit. Let's go, cried Spike. Let's not, said Splat. It's spooky. Look at that. He's shivering a little bit. You turn a flap on the book. It says, but Seymour had already scurried up to the old house. There goes Seymour. 
We'll have to find Seymour, cried Splat. I hope there are no ghosts. Seymour, shouted Splat. Trick or treat, shouted Spike. Ooh, this looks like there's ghosts there. But there are not, are there? It's just a flashlight. Spot, Spot and Spike slowly crept down a hallway full of creepy paintings. Are we being watched? asked Splat. Look at all those creepy flame paintings. They open up and they said they heard a spooky sound. Urgh. What was that? Yikes! Is that a witch in the closet? Sure looks like one, doesn't it? Oh, but it's not. Nope, just an old coat rack covered with silly stuff. They searched the dining room. See more, they shouted. Do that. Got the flashlight out. What are they going to see there? Oh, they heard a spooky sound. What was that? Grumble. See more, where are you? They cried. Look at that. that scary thing. Clark clunk. They heard another spooky sound. What was that? Groan. Now Spike was starting to get scared. What was that? Spike shrieked. Wait for me! He just ran away. In the library, Splat leaned against an old statue. How am I out of here? cried Sp Sp Spike. It says a secret door. There they are, they found a secret door. Spike, are you in there? Splat called. There he is. Vampire ducks, they screamed and ran away. Oh no, it's vampire ducks. Can you see their little fangs? Gulp, they said a monster in the cellar and something's going on. Just a chunky old, clunky old furnace. More spooky sounds were coming from behind the door. Uh-oh, it's a ghost, they screamed. Oh no, oh no, really ghost. Is it? Ooh, what is that? says Splat, and he ripped away the sheet. It was Seymour, the little mouse. It's you made all those spooky sounds, says Splat. I guess too much candy made your tummy ache. Seymour just groaned. Oh, his belly hurts. You gave us quite a fright, Seymour, says Splat. For a moment, we thought we, we, we thought you were ghosts. And I'll put it up, and it says, you gave us, yeah. There we go, sorry. And it says, Happy Halloween! And there's the ghosts coming out of the house. That was a cute Halloween story. Thank you for joining us today. Hi everyone, welcome to our craft time. Today we're going to make spider webs out of parchment paper. What you'll need is some parchment paper, or some people call it wax paper, a pencil, your scissors and I got some spiders so we can put we got a spider so we can put it on there so how to make this is you're going to take you a piece of parchment paper and you have to make it a perfect square so I'll show you what I'm doing so you're going to fold it over like this to where it is perfectly lined and then you're going to cut off the excess. Not a very good straight cutter. Ooh. Okay, so it should look like this. Okay, so now what you're going to do is keep it in the triangle. You're going to take this piece and pull it over you know, it's matched evenly and make another triangle, make a smaller triangle like that. Then you're gonna take this piece again and pull it over and make a smaller tri uh, triangle. So as Miss Molly showed me, how you're going to do this is you're gonna take this, the top of the triangle and you're gonna fold it over to where it is touching the exact other side like that okay so now you're going to cut off this top part here and it's going to look like that so this is what you use your pin for 
So you can make it any way you want it. I made just uh, several rectangles and I'll show you what uh, my first one looks like. It's kind of hard to see with pencil. But so like that. So I did that all the way down. Make sure you don't right, cut off the very bottom tip because then you'll have a big hole in the middle of your spider web. So it should look like that however you want to make your cut. And then you just cut out the little pieces. Okay, so this is what it should look like. So now you're gonna open it up. And then you have a fabulous spider web. So I got one of these ring things and I'm just gonna kind of put it on one of the loops. And you can add as many as you want or you can glue it to it. Um, but there's your spider web. Make a bunch of them and hang them around the house. Boom, let's shake them skeleton bones. Well, the hip bones connect to the backbone.